Hey everyone, I have uh, um I saw Veggiekins make a kale uh, a Korean kale soup which was cooked and I was like oh, I wanna make that too and because I have my gochujang well my fake gochujang which I showed you guys how to make um on Chef AJ Live's um YouTube show so you can check out her her live look for raw chef yin and you'll find it there if not i've already left the um list of ingredients the recipe in the the show notes so you can see that as well and um yeah let's make this lunch i'm making it raw vegan i'm also just like using what i have in the kitchen um it's a test it's an experiment so you're on this journey together let's see if this works okay and i'll bring you guys over here so you can actually see what is in there lots of ingredients um so it's a kale and she's doing like a kale and butter bean soup i think but um so i have kale and then um, for the beans i'm using like um sprouted mung beans as well as um sprouted green lentils which i sprouted myself and then for the base of the soup there's all these ingredients the base i'm putting in carrots bay leaf lime majol date eh, tomato jackfruit because i have jackfruit i need to use it up and then um yeah and then a sun-dried tomato some water some smoked paprika i am half wondering whether i want to use my pineapple tapache as well We'll taste it and see. I think I will, I will. I'll just put that in. And then um, for the soup inside, um, this is uh, lotus root because I got this from Be Real, so I thought like I'll use it. Um, the original recipe uses carrots as well. And then I had some purple cabbage, so I'm putting that in as well. And then there's some pepper. And um, I realized that I still have some sorrel, so I'll, I'll, I need to use that up. And I have some pea shoots and... This is very strange. I thought like, how come I'm being called? Okay, no, no one's calling me, so that's great. Um, okay, so let's make the soup base. We'll put in the sun-dried tomato and the water. Oh, I need to measure the water though. Okay, you know what? <laughs> let's just put the jackfruit in because I have it here already. I should put the liquids in first, but... Um, never mind. We'll put the sun-dried tomato in as well. Okay, and then, yeah, a little bit more for one cup. Okay, I realized that you can't really see, so let's do this instead. Okay, and then um, we'll put in the tomatoes. Well, we'll put in the dates actually. And then the tomatoes. Um, put in the bay leaf. Yeah, I'll just drop the whole thing in. We're just going to blend everything up. Okay, and then lime juice. Actually, it's juice of one whole lime, but I, I squeeze some of it first so that you don't have to like keep seeing me squeeze things, I suppose. Yeah. Alrighty. And then, um, Remy's recipe asks for a quarter teaspoon paprika, so I'm putting that in. Just put like just under a quarter. Okay, and then we'll put in the gochujang. So she's putting in like two tablespoons, so I'm going with that as well. Should I go with that? Oh, one. Let me taste it and see how strong it is. Mmm, it's yummy. You know, like, like yeah, let's just go for two. Where is my spatula? How did I... Lose it. <laughs> oh, it was being covered by something else. Okay. Cool. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, and then um, I think we need actually more water. So I'm going to put in like half, half a cup. So we have one and a cup, one and a half cups of water. We may need to put in a bit more water as well, but we'll test it as it goes. All right, so let's check. Um, kale, jackfruit, sprouts, carrots in, bay leaf in, smoked paprika, tomatoes, sun-dried tomato, gochujang, um, pineapple tepache, yeah, that's what I need. So I've been making my own pineapple tepache, and this one has, um, this one kind of like over fermented, so I'm just using it like kind of a bit like apple cider vinegar. <laughs> yeah, I'll share the video. I think I, I did a video, but I haven't edited it yet, so not yet. Yeah. Okay, let's just blend this up first and see whether it needs any other seasoning. Right, so... I'm blending it in the Vitamix. I think this is good. You guys can see a bit of this. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, because this carrot is a bit fibrous, right? Oh wow, I really like this. It's a Swedish soup because, it, you know, of the jackfruit. But I really like it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the carrot makes it very orange. <laughs> Yum. Let me see if I can blend it up a bit more. If you wanted a, like a super smooth soup, then use carrot juice instead of the whole carrots. But I'm quite happy with this because I want the fiber. <laughs> Blender one of these days. Okay, so now I think it looks a bit smoother now. Mm. I'm trying to figure out whether I want because the gochujang actually has, I think, like salt. So, oh, soy sauce. I'm wondering whether I need. I think I will I'll put in a bit of shiokoji to round it up. Or you can use salt. Or you can use miso, but yes, right now my current obsession with seasoning is the shiokoji. So I'm gonna put in one teaspoon. So shiokoji is like a Japanese cultured seasoning. It's not raw, but it is fermented. So it's a bit like, yeah, I mean, I would consider it like, I mean like miso is not raw, but it's fermented as well. And I, seasonings are hard to get it raw. Okay, I just I'm just not blending it too much because I don't want to blend too much air into it, you know. So, mm. okay, yeah, better. Mm. So it's not like super duper sweet. Okay. Let's plate it up. I'm gonna put all, most of this in the bowl first. Most of it. You know what, let me just get it all out and then I'll see how I wanna do it for, 
photo purposes. Okay. And then I'll put in the lotus root. Because I have lotus root. And because this is going to be like a hearty soup for lunch for me. Um, so maybe like half of this goes in and then you can put it on the on the top as well uh, part of this goes in as well all right hello soup We need the kale in as well. <laughs> I need a bigger bowl. Kind of mix it around. Yeah, I need to transfer to this to. I should have chosen a bigger bowl. <laughs> Don't think I can put all the kale in. We'll see, we'll see. And then the so this as well. more kale. No, you can't really see the kale, can you? And then um tomatoes oh the tomatoes are big we may need to kind of like hide them if not <laughs> they might look a bit like disproportionate I'm gonna eat all of this, but I think just for plating purposes. <laughs> yeah. And I think the sorrel would like give it really nice. Um. Ooh. a nice um, tang to it and um, I 
Hello, Asama. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's already 1.30. I need to eat soon. And then... I ground up some... I ground up some dehydrated papaya seeds to use in place of to use in place of um, oh I need to taste it I know you guys want me to do like a taste test right I'm just like oh, I can't really see the kale can I like if I'm calling it a kale soup I need to a bit of the kill a bit a bit a bit a bit okay all right you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna like you want a taste test so i'm just gonna pour a bit more of this yeah we'll put that in this is gonna be my taster see my face so that is the soup so far this is the soup okay and then let me flip around hey thanks for the likes and then you can see me taste the soup pot all right so here we go gonna taste the soup with all the other ingredients as well with the kale mm. it's on the sweet side but i really like it yeah if you don't want it so sweet you can like not put the medjool dates but i feel like the dates make it creamier or you can put less jackfruit mm. Mmm, 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 nice with the, somehow I like the papaya seeds as well, yeah, so yeah, that's my um, raw vegan take on the Korean kale and bean soup, I hope you like it. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Um, leave a comment as well. And um, yeah, subscribe to my e-newsletter for more cool stuff that I usually don't share anywhere else. The link is in there. And oh yeah, I actually have a course on mouth-watering Korean cuisine as well. So check that one out. Um, I'll see you guys another time. Bye-bye.